yo, what's popping guys and welcome to a different kind of video. So, uh, originally, if you are familiar with the channel, you know that normally I do try not to laugh on this day, but not doing that today. There's not enough in the studio, so add more and I'll continue that. But I made a project recently for one of my own projects, for one of my own projects that you guys that you guys can't do yet, but when it's done, you'll be able to do it. And I want to go over it today. This project right here, my MMO item generator, um, in version in the first version that it is right now there are over 472.5 septillion combinations that can be uh created and i'll show you an example and then i'll show you how i did it so here we go you can see up here we have a bunch of things we can generate weapons gems accessories talisman and catalysts so let's press w to generate a weapon and it generated a lance the imported lance of significance the classes are warrior and paladin you need to be level 12 to use it it does 63 damage it has 1.7 attack speed has 16.8 uh undead damage if you round and has two gem sockets okay let's press w again right the gaudy staff of revolution mage level 4 25 some stats you can just hold w and it'll generate something here and then here's a special one the zonked dagger of data Rogue gets a level 100 weapon, it does 471 damage, 1.8 attack speed, 91.9 critical strike chance, and then critical strike power. But, since it has zonked, right, as its adjective at the beginning, zonked has a, is a modifier that has modification that can add modifications to your weapon. So, the zonked modifier adds an extra 50% critical strike power to your weapon, giving this weapon 145.1 critical strike power. It has a PVE damage of 95.1 and has three gem sockets. Sp speaking of, what are gems? Well, gems are what you can put into your weapon to, ge to customize it even more. So let's generate a gem. The Auspicious Gem of Permission, 100, level 100, 44.3 PVE damage and 49.2 damage reduction. Let's generate another gem. Here's another gem, Delirious Gem of Setting. Boom, bunch of stuff. Oh my goodness, it generates so much. And then let's just generate some accessories. You have a shine. Uh, I think there are five different shines that you can have. This one gives you a max health of 198, a star, a shine, a bead, a medallion, a necklace. There's a necklace in there. Necklace. Opposite necklace of arrival. We can generate talisman, a bunch of talisman. You can generate a bunch of catalysts as well. This one gives lifesteal of 13.6. Uh, so yeah, this is a huge project that can generate as many that can again generate over you know 472 septillion weapons and that's not even putting into account i did all the math for all the different things that can go into this that's i didn't even take into account all the different types of gems you can generate all the accessories you can generate all the talisman you can generate and all the catalysts you can generate if i were to put the as much as you can generate within these last four two we'd probably be well over an octillion or so so um, and that's not even including that I'm gonna add more to this eventually, uh, like making armor generation and stuff like that. But let's just let's just calm down for a second and let's go over how uh, this project works. So you'll see here we have a converter. That's just for me to do easy stuff. But come to the backdrop. We have the weapons generator in the backdrop. Let's take a look at what we have here. So if you take a look, whenever you press W, it sets an item type to pick around in one through twenty-three. Okay. And basically what that does is I have a weapons list that just generates all the types of, you know, weapons that there are. Then it chooses an adjective. I have a list of 300 adjectives and it picks one randomly. There's a bunch of them. Guarded, mature, smelly, skinny, careful, upset, grandiose, daffy, illustrious. Um, then it picks from 150 nouns that I have generated for the end. This is the end of the word. Connection, chemistry, success, negotiation, outcome, direction, technology, power. Right? And then it deletes all of the generators. And then it will add the type right here and the name. Then it has to figure out what um, class it is. So I have something set up here. So swords or warrior. Daggers are rogue, spears are warrior rogue, hammers are paladin, gauntlets are rogue mage, whip mage paladin, you get it, you get it, you get it. Then it adds that required class. It takes a level range, so there's a level range, it generates 1 through 11, that means 0 to 10. And if, if it's 0, then you'll generate your item from level 1 to 9, 10, 10 to 19, 
2019, 60, 60 to 69, you get it. Level 100 is level 100. Adds the required level. Then it picks up the level range, right? So it picks up the item's damage. If your item level is a level range of 0, meaning that your level is 1 or 9, or is 1 to 9, right? Then you'll generate its damage to 10 to 40 damage. And then same thing, it'll balance it all out. 80, 300 to 385, 100, 430 to 500. And this is super easy to customize if you wanted to come and remix this project and then customize the numbers a little bit or get rid of some stuff, add stuff, as the damage. It does the speed, attack speeds. So swords do that much. This is how much they all do. Uh, bows and crossbows don't have anything because they have their own recharge. I should probably mention this is for um, a Minecraft server that I'm working on. I'm working on an MMO RPG survival Minecraft server that people will be able to join and have fun on. So I'm doing this to generate weapons for me. Uh, loots, catalysts, great swords, all this kind of stuff, all with the speeds, adds the attack speed, then it comes with critical chance. So it there's a one in three chance that a weapon will have a critical strike that'll add critical strike chance, right? Every weapon has a set critical strike chance and critical strike power, but you can make it so that when you're holding the item, it'll increase it by percentage. So it'll have a one in three chance to increase it. So if it's if it does that, if it chooses two, which is the one to three. Then it'll check your level range again. If it's zero, meaning your level is one through nine, you'll get a you'll get a strike chance of 0.1 to 0.3. And again, that can generate a bunch of super specific numbers because of the point. Um, then we have the randomizer again. If a one of three chance to add critical strike power, which is how much damage a critical strike does when it lands. And then it generates all that for a bunch of these different ones, going all the way up to 100% critical strike power. Then it adds both the critical strike chance and critical strike power. Now, if you're specifically, uh, if this weapon is specifically a mage, it'll set up um, how much mana it costs to use an item, right? So, like, again, level range, 1 to 9, it'll use anywhere from 0.2 to 2 mana, um, and all the way up to 10 mana for using items. And here, randomizer, uh, 1 in 4 chance to add PvE damage, player versus everything, uh, all the way up to 100%. And then right here, we have one for undead damage for undead enemies, all the way up to 100%. Uh, chances, of course, randomizer. There's a 1 in 10 chance that your item will have life steal, which is when you hit an enemy, you'll gain some of the life back. Again, that can go up to, to 60% is the highest. So you'll hit someone and you'll gain 60% of the life you dealt to them. A 1 in 3 chance to add max health, how much max health while holding this uh, weapon that your item will gain, all the way up to 250 max health. Again, with if, if you have a mage item specifically, it'll have a 1 in 3 chance to give you max mana all the way up to 250. Um, if your item is, is greater than 9, if your level is greater than 9, then we can talk about gem sockets. Because your, your weapon needs to be level 10 or higher to be able to have a gem socket. And gem sockets are something you can put gems, which you can generate with this too, into the, into the uh, weapon. You can go all the way up to 5 at level 90 to, or 100. So meaning, you know, level 90 to 100 adds the gem sockets if you're specifically have a gun it'll generate recoil and then possibly knockback and then if you have a gun wand whip staff or great staff it'll generate range since those are ranged weapons how far it goes you might be thinking what about the bow and the crossbow well those in minecraft are already set um so i don't have to worry about that but these these are programmed in a different way on the server which have long range attacks too all the way up to 35 range and that equals blocks then you have hammers, great hammers, and gauntlets have blunt powers and blunt power ratings. The way a blunt power is, blunt power is when you hit an enemy, how many uh, blocks or meters it will hit enemies around it. Add splash damage, right? So, like, there's five enemies in a small area. You have a blunt radius of five. You hit the middle one, it'll deal damage to all five of them. The blunt power rating is the percentage in which the surrounding enemies will take the percentage of damage. So say you do 100 damage and your blunt power rating is 10. Everything around it that takes damage will take 10% of 100, so it'll take 10 damage instead of 100 and that has all these things up until level 100 you can get from 30 to 50 blunt power rating and eight blocks wide and adds that and then it runs the modifiers so the way the modifier works is it'll run a modifier and it'll check if your adjective which is generated at the beginning is undesirable if it's undesirable it sets your it changes your attack speed by negative point uh, one and then a search it does stat search attack speed so it'll set this variable called stat search to attack speed and then it'll run this checklist block and this checklist block, what it does is it sets this change to zero and then it repeats the length of this this whole list, this big weapon for randomizer list, right? Change it by one and then it'll check if item one of the generator 
contains the stat search, which was set to attack speed. So what it does is it just looks through all these to find one that says attack speed right here. See how this one says attack speed, just like that. All right, get out of here. It says attack speed. And then once it finds it, it'll set stat change, which is different from stat search to change. So the number, right? So let's say right here would be number six, right? It'd search all the way to number six and find it. And then it stopped the script. So it doesn't find another one. Um, and then it waits one second and then it sets stat change, right? Replaces stat change, which would be six of item generator with join, join. And then it says undesirable, which is the name of the uh, modifier attack speed. Just adds that the attack speed, the item attack speed. Uh, Cause again, remember we did change it by negative 0.1. So we don't have to worry about that. And then it'll sh tell you how much it changed it by psychedelic is works it works in a very much easier way because it just adds a permanent effect so when you're holding the weapon you get a permanent jump boost too until you let go of it and that adds psychedelic permanent jump boost boom just adds that to the bottom of the list um but uh, this one fat works exactly the same as undesirable uh changes your max health max health runs that thing again to find it uh quack yes that's a real adjective i didn't know that uh it gives your item 50 damage Salty gives your item 10 damage. Frantic gives your attack, uh, changes your item damage by 20. Oh, this is a mistake. Look at that. Look at that. I almost didn't change this. Look at this. Um, item attack speed. That's what that needs to be. So changes the attack speed by 20, not the damage by 0.2. That'd be useless. Uh, huge changes the range by 2. And if you get a weapon that doesn't have range, but still has the huge adjective, nothing changes because it can't find anything. Nauseating gives your item more recoil, which isn't good. Again, if it doesn't have recoil, you don't have to worry about it. Broken, negative 30 damage. Uh, fearful gives you speed one until you let go of it. Remarkable gives you 10 critical strike chance. Overconfident gives you 30 damage, but negative 30 max health. Productive gives you 10 damage and 0.1 attack speed. Large gives you uh, an extra range. Competitive gives you 25 damage. Supreme gives you 75 damage. Enchanted gives you 20 critical strike chance and 20 critical strike power. Efficient gives you 0.3 attack speed. Extra small gives you minus five range. Zonked gives you 50 critical strike power. We saw that one happen. Excellent gives you 40 damage. Disastrous gives you three blunt power. Quickest gives you 0.5 attack speed. Lethal gives you 80 attack damage. That's the highest damage modifier in the game or in this generator. Berserk gives you strength one when you're holding it. Bonkers gives you 30 damage, 30 critical strike chance, and 30 critical strike power. Violent gives you 45 attack damage. Annoying gives you minus 0.2 attack speed and minus 10 health and minus 10 critical strike chance. And those are all the modifiers I've set up. It's just because just those are the only ones I did set up. Obviously, you can easily set up way more and you know, more adjectives. It's, it's, this is very easy to configure. And then the, if you're wondering the way the gems work, the gems work in the same way, except gems can also, like gems, accessories, talisman, and catalyst can also increase projectile damage. They can increase magic damage, physical damage, weapon damage, critical strike chance, critical strike power, dodge rating, parry rating, which is a whole new system in the server, PVE damage, PVP damage, player versus player, damage reduction, projectile reduction, magic damage reduction, physical damage reduction, PVE damage reduction, PVP damage reduction, undead damage, which is undead enemies, life steal adds extra life steal, max health gives you more max health, you know, max mana, more max mana, success rate, how successful it is that you use the gem. So, for example, the lower the level the gem is, the higher the chance that it'll work. So, let's say you have something that does, you know, where is it? Where do I have it actually put? Where would it be? Um, oh yeah, it doesn't go down to 50. 60 is the lowest, right? So at level 100 gems, they ha they can have a 60 to 65 percent success rate. If you use it and it doesn't success, the gem just disappears forever. Uh, that's how it works in the server. Obviously, you can use this for like whatever you want, right? Um, like it's on my DK mini game account. You can go find it. Uh, again, 400 over 472 septillion possible combinations. I guarantee you'll when you generate a weapon, that weapon when you generate a weapon, a gem, an accessory, a talisman, a catalyst. I can guarantee you that um, that that weapon, gem, accessory, talisman, or catalyst will never be generated again. You will have completely unique items if you use this. So. Feel free to go crazy. If you'd want to put a uh, credit for who made this in like the notes and credits, that'd be nice. If you just put DK Universe, right? Or just like tag my DK Minigame account or just tag any of my accounts, preferably DK Universe YT, but DK Minigame works as well. Or just say like my YouTube channel. Either way, that'd be really cool. If you don't feel like it, I'm not going to force you to do anything. But yeah, this took 
Uh, I was working on this from 8.30 at night to 2.30 in the morning uh, making this, which is really embarrassing. It shouldn't have taken that long. Uh, but yeah, so I just thought I'd have some fun and show you a project that I made. Uh, the Minecraft server is coming soon. I have um, a bunch of dungeons set up. I think I have five or six dungeons created. Um, I have a bunch of enemies, a bunch of bosses. I have over 100 items uh, with some unique crafting recipes, some interesting mini bosses and stuff like that. So if you're excited, uh, like the video and comment down below what you're excited about. Uh, so I'm going to leave the episode here. Um, but if you want to go into the Discord, link in the description. If you want to Discord, link in the description, join, verify yourself. You can find a channel, uh, Minecraft server suggestions, Minecraft server item requests, and Minecraft server mob request. You can go into those Google Forms, and you can uh, request your own items to be created and your own uh, mobs to be created. And you can configure those in any way that you want. But I'm going to leave the episode here. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, then like it. If you didn't like it, like it anyways, because this is a big project. Holy crap. While you're at it, want to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my content. That helped me out a lot. But thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.